Thank you, Leanne and Jen. So it's all things curry in our espresso kitchen this morning. We're whipping up the most amazing recipes. But right now, Mr. Michael Olivier is here. He's, he's going to show us how to make our own curry. So, Mr. Michael, because I think when it comes to curry, I'm normally very intimidated as to making it myself. Yeah. But you say you can actually do it's it. It's dead easy. And yeah. the thing is that once you've made your basic, then you can do you can ring the changes. Okay. So if you want to have a little bit more ginger, if you want to have a little bit more chili, if you want yeah. hotter, that's where your smokier. personal little yeah. preference can, yeah. uh, preferences come in. So we're going to make it just a bit, very basic one. A garam masala. Yeah. So we've got nice um, cumin and coriander. All right. And fenugreek seeds. Um, we've got some white mustard seeds here. Some white peppercorns. It's quite a quite a some a lot of spices. Cloves. And then some little cardamom seeds. Now these have been taken out of those little green yes, cardamom yes, pots. Yes. pots. All right. Now so what we're doing here is we're just toasting, we're just toasting the seeds and things a little bit. Why is it important? Just to bring well, out the just, flavor? It or? just releases the oils and um, you get, I mean you can smell it here already. Yes. I don't want to heat it much more than that because they're starting to. Oof, you can you can actually smell all those yeah, nice, those, eh? those those spices just fusing yeah. fusing together. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll take them and we'll put them into this little spice grinder. All right. Which is your usual coffee grinder. Yes, well. absolutely. And all if you're right. going to be grinding coffee and it just uh, so yeah. clean it out, otherwise you'll be having spicy coffee. Right. So basically, it's very very easy. Just get the right type of spices, toast them a little bit, and then. Grind them up. And then there's some chili powder there. Nice. And then you want to put a little bit of turmeric in. It's um, actually a, a good Monday morning for me because I'm suffering a little bit from hay fever this morning and I came to work with a blocked nose, but all the spices. It's, <laughs> okay, it's helping. It's, it's helping. Okay, sign this for you. And then here we've got some, uh, some cinnamon. Pop that in. Great. Cinnamon as well, eh? Yep. I didn't know that. Some some of the of the masalas are very high cinnamon. Really? Yeah. So now, of course, you want to make it quite fine. You do. Yeah. You do. But if you got if you if you've missed any of the spices that we did put into our garam masala mix, don't worry. You can just SMS the keyword spice to three three seven two eight. That's spice to three three seven two eight, and we'll send you on a pick and pay shopping list as to what you need to make your own garam masala at home. And there we go. Look at that. I would say that I would like to taste it, but you know what? I'll wait for our recipe no, after the break. wait for the, the break. recipe, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're making a lovely garam masala yellowtail. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. So but just smell that, smell. eh? That's stunning. That smells divine. That and smells the nice thing is that all of these ingredients you can get in pick and pay. Great. That's very easy. So there we go. That's our garam masala. We're going to use that after the break to make a very delicious yellowtail. And stay tuned because I'll tell you about our lovely curry competition that could be, uh, could be seeing you as our curry king or queen of South Africa. Stay tuned. We found goodness in goed gedacht olive oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay. Always there for you. It's my feel good worth this show. Welcome back. You tune into Express here on SABC3. We're back in the kitchen with Mr. Michael Willif here. Just before the break, we made uh, our very own garam masala. Now we're going to put that to good use and make a yellowtail coated in our masala. Yep. Oh, that's lovely. That that smell of the masala is just Isn't incredible. It it's just incredible. So, so Mr. Michael, right. what do we need now? What are we doing? What we're going to do is we're going to take some onion. All right. Ginger. Sorry, that was garlic. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some ginger. Okay, so garlic, onion, and ginger. Yeah, a bit of chili. Oh, a little bit more chili, a bit, eh? A bit of chili. <laughs> well, you just want to get it nicely, nicely warm. And here we've got a, a generous pinch of hot chili powder. All right. So I we... can I can presume there's going to be a little bit of a nice and spicy. It's going to be. It's not going to be hot. It's going to be spicy. And then we've got some saffron. Yes. Saffron is, a, is saffron is the stamen of the autumn crocus. The autumn crocus, you're yeah. taking and they, not they, my language this morning. <laughs> they have to be harvested and pulled out of the flower by okay. hand. Okay. Wow, okay. And there's a farm up the up the west coast that grows crocus. And their first crop was 114 grams. <laughs> <laughs> the first crop. The first crop. Wow. Okay, cool. So now you blend all of those together. 
Beautiful. So uh, if you have just tuned in before the break, we made our very own garam masala. Now we're putting that to good use. So we're putting it on a fresh yellowtail this morning. And, and what you do with the, with the yellowtail, which I should yes. really have done as first thing, All right. it's just to cut some slashes oh, okay. in the meat, because then the, the, um, yeah. the, the curry will go down into it, and then Brilliant. just a good squeeze of, of, Lovely lemon. of lemon juice. And then when you've, when you've got that going, then you can start making your oh, Okay. So it's not a complicated marinade. recipe. If you yeah. have the curry powder ready, then you just quickly whip all the rest together. Absolutely. Great. Of course, you can just SMS the keyword SPICE to 33728. We'll send you on the pick and pay shopping list for our garam masala coated yellowtail. And you can make it at home. Very, very easy. Right. So now we've got our paste here. Yes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to add, we're going to add a teaspoon of our Oh, oh wow. lovely. Garam masala That's and lovely. coconut milk. Oh, what a combination. Definitely going to be something special. All about curries in the Espresso Kitchen today. Mr. Michael, just before the break, I told people that we are looking for South Africa's best curry. So what's going to happen? We need you. We're going to choose five finalists to battle it out at the wow. Good Food Studio in Johannesburg. That's going to take place on the 18th of May. So all you need to do is submit your curry recipe along with a little motivation as to why your curry recipe is the best in South Africa. Email it to curry at expressoshow.com. That's curry, to expresso, uh, curry at expressoshow.com. Dot com. Very, very easy. And you could be the king and the king or queen of curry right. in South Africa. So I'm just putting a little bit of pepper and salt in there just to bring this. So there we've got our we've got our marinating liquid. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just take the fish out of this bowl. Because it starts it starts weeping the minute you put the it starts lemon juice. weeping. It's, uh, yeah. What does that mean? It means in cooking it's just, terms. Um, in cooking terms is the salt starts extracting the, the moisture um, extra, and your fish firms up. I see. Oh, so good. now we've got the marinade to pour that over. Do you have to leave the marinade on for a certain amount of time? Um, yes, not too long um, uh, because otherwise the marinade actually starts cooking the I see. starts cooking the fish. Oh, but that's, so there we go. You can leave it sort of looks, for, you know, a couple of hours or so. That's incredible. That looks incredible. Okay, so now for the so cooking now, process. Here's a piece that we've had All right, I'm marinating put this on our pan, for some right? time. Put that on the heat. Oh, we've cool. had this one marinating for some time. Great. And okay. So do you fry it with a little bit of oil? What do you need? Yeah. How can I help you prep? So you can just put a little bit of oil on the bottom. Good. There we go. And it's a non-stick pan. So. That's it. So you just need a little amount of oil. Nothing too serious. Yeah, don't use more. olive oil. You know, a lot of people tend to use olive oil for everything. And I just find that it's just so flavorful. And of course, it's got a much lower yeah. burning point than the sunflower or peanut or yes. canola oils. And even in even in salad dressings, I yeah. I put half sunflower, half. You like your half. Uh, yeah, exactly. And it's, especially when it comes to cooking, rather use something like sunflower because I mean, olive oil is a healthy type of oil. But as soon as you heat it up, it changes the makeup of it. So Absolutely. It so it's great out. for salad dressings and, yeah, and exactly. you know, cooked vegetables to, to dress the vegetables with. All right. So let's get going. Oil. Right. On so our we, piece of fish. Oh, nice sound. Love that sound. So, what you do then is just turn it over once. Yes. Put a little bit more of the sauce on, pop it into the oven, and this is what you land up with. That's here. it. And it's not a, it's a, I mean, it doesn't take too long, and then you get a beautiful piece of yellowtail just like that. Absolutely. SMS the keyword SPICE to 33728. We're going to send you on the pick and pay shopping list to everything that you will need to make our garam masala coated yellowtail, as well, as well as a link to the actual recipe. Now, what I, what I quite like doing is actually to serve it in the pan it's cooked in. That's a good idea. That's a good so idea. So we'll put the... We'll put the sauce to the one side. Cool. So while we finish up our lovely dish, if you have missed any of the steps we took in preparing our garam masala coated yellowtail, take a look at this quickly. Cut slits on the fish, then season with lemon juice and salt. Leave to stand for 30 minutes. Blend together onion, garlic, ginger, chili, garam masala, saffron and chili powder, then place into a bowl. Stir in the coconut milk, then add the fish and marinade for 15 minutes. Remove fish from marinade, then cook in oil. Pour in marinade and reduce. 
Serve garnished with coriander. And it's really not that difficult like you've seen. And there, Mr. Michael, you have finished up our dish beautifully. Nice. Look at that. Nice piece of fish for one person. It's quite nice leaving so, it in the pan because then you get everything fun. together yeah. still, all the flavors. Oh, different. That looks stunning, Mr. Michael. Thank nice. you so much. Such a pleasure. Eh? Brilliant. Such a pleasure. That keyword once more spice to 33728, and we'll send you on the shopping list, and you can make your own beautiful dish just like that. Thank you so much, eh? Put it right there. Oh, what a pleasure. breakfast for me this morning. Remember our curry competition email your curry recipes along with the motivation, telling us why your curry is the best in South Africa. All you need to do is email that to curry at expressoshow.com. Get it done now. Competitions close on the 8th of May. Right now, though, are you fan of line dancing? Mr. Yes. Michael. Are you? Yes. Well, some line dancing is about to Excellent. go down here on Express. So JJ Stratum up next. By partnering with the WWF, we found goodness in sustainable fishing practices. Pick and pay. Always there for you.